There's a pecan tree near Preston Road and Armstrong Parkway that's been here nearly as long as Dallas itself. In 1865, Joseph Cole was working his cornfield north of town when he came upon this tree, no bigger round than a pencil sprouting from the earth. The shoot had grown from a pecan carried up from nearby Turtle Creek, perhaps dropped by a bird or squirrel. The tree was too far from the creek to survive, and most farmers would have plowed it under, but Joe ordered a field hand to fence the tree off and water it. Joe had just come home from the Civil War, and later, people would explain what he did by saying he'd seen too much destruction and killing up north. Of course, nobody really knows why Joe did what he did, but the tree survived, and Joe took care of it until it could be seen for miles on the flat plain above the creek, just off the Preston Trail. Eventually, the land was sold, and Joe died. Some said that Joe had placed a deed restriction on the land, protecting the tree, but the story proved to be false. As it turned out, he didn't have to. In the 1920s, developers envisioned the town of Highland Park on the land that had once grown Joseph Cole's corn. At the time, it was said that the developers were offered a million dollars for a lot that would include the pecan tree. Perhaps that story wasn't true either, but in any case, the tree was not for sale. Instead, the pecan was given its own parkway, a place of honor at the entrance to town. And because of the story, it became known as the Million Dollar Monarch. Decorating the tree at Christmas became an annual tradition. In time, the houses around the tree would become worth a million dollars, then much more. Fewer people noticed the tree or remembered its name. But there are those who think of the history Joe Cole's pecan tree has seen.
And those who know the story of the Million Dollar Monarch think of Joe Cole and of what remains after we're gone.